understand where the church fell from? <laughs> the church molded for herself a golden calf. And she went on her knees and worshipped until she has not read this. Did you understand why the Lord sent me? Yes. Because the heart, how she used to love the Lord, you know. You cannot imagine now she's loving another. She molded a golden calf called prosperity. Oh, prosperity finished the church. And you know, she has, what amazes me, they have all put their heads there. They are worshipping. No one can help the other out of there. And they have not yet read this. And they have not understood that this is talking about them. Do you understand why it is so contagious in the church? Yes. Every preacher comes down. Let me show you how you can prosper. Huh? Let me show you how prosper, prosper, prosper. But who will lead the church to the Lord? Did you understand? Yes. And you know, for me, I can tell you because I go down to Australia. I come from Australia. I go all the way to Sweden. I pass through UK. I go to Norway and Denmark. I head all the way to to Venezuela, I go to Canada and then come down to Chile, go to Uruguay down and come back to Nigeria and South Africa. You see that? South Korea. And I've seen across the earth, the entire earth, their knees are down, they're busy worshipping the golden calf. <laughs> if they were worshipping Christ, their eyes would be open. They would have not. In fact, you just see in their in their lifestyle. You understand? <coughs> you see that somebody is preparing, right? Oh yes, they would prepare. But everybody is consumed by this. Let me tell you one thing. When you I ask you, when you people came, I want to ask a simple question. When you people came to this ministry, I said, you know, you people. I said strong words, right? Yes. You people leave money out don't touch money and women if you're women don't touch men you see that mm -hmm. don't touch women either because they now there's nonsense out there right but the issue is this i said if you don't touch money i will go before the father and ask him to help you to confirm that this gospel is right mm -hmm. I went before the Father, right? You said, okay, what you say is good. We agree. You understand? Yes. And then I went before the Father. And I said, Lord, help these people. Tell me. Has the Lord let you go down? No. no. Double. Yes. And listen. And righteous blessing. Yes. The right yes. blessing. Yes. Rightful blessing. Yes. The right prosperity. Yes. The right one. The right one. If I understand it right, none of you are slept hungry because they don't have it. Yes. You understand? Yes. Servant. Yes. You see that? Yes. Hmm? Some of you have planned yourself from your professions. You are now uh, 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 preaching, right? Yes. Full time. Most all, all, all people just jumped out, say, "No, no, no, no. I need to give this full time." Yes. And they started from nowhere, and the Lord just helped them. You know. No, I don't want anyone to point a finger at my God. Never. never, never, never. And say, oh, we, the reason we're preaching prosperity because we must survive. No, don't say so. God is faithful to his word. Yes. He's saying, if you indulge in that, the sword is coming. And that's why you see how infectious it is in the church. Everybody's clamoring for wealth. Piece of property, buildings, what, what, whatever it is they look for, right? Did you understand me? Idol worship. Yes. Idolatry. And they perceive that idolatry is the gravest sin. Yes. You can it's from verse 12, 13 verse 12, Deuteronomy. On the matter of idolatry. He said, because he said, do not equalize, right? Yes. Do not mix idolatry with the worship of Jehovah, right? Yes. Now he says, if you hear it said about one of the towns the Lord your God is giving to you, is giving you to live in, that wicked men have arisen among you and have led the people of their town astray, saying, let us go and worship other gods. 
gods you have not known then you must inquire that's number one mm -hmm. number two probe number three investigate it thoroughly did you understand me yes and if it turns out and if it is true that it has been pro and, and it has been proved that this detestable thing has been done among you you must certainly certainly the keyword is certainly you must certainly put to the sword all who live in that town destroy it completely both its people and its livestock gather all the plunder of the town into the middle of the public square and completely burn the town and all its plunder as a whole burnt offering unto the Lord your God. It is to remain a ruin forever, never to be rebuilt. None of those condemned things shall be found in your hands, so that the Lord will turn from his Alexis, hallelujah. So that the Lord will turn from his fierce anger. He will show you mercy. Have compassion on you. And increase your numbers. As he promised on earth. To your forefathers. 18. Because you obey the Lord your God. Keeping all his commands. That I am giving to you today. And doing what is right in his eyes. Oi. Where? Did you understand I don't? I think somebody has been fooling around, right? Isn't this a wake up call? Yes. I just want to make a special announcement now as we continue with this. That this is the same God you serve. And that's the way he looks at idolatry. So among the specifications he was mentioning there, you come to a most grievous one. Huh? Idol worship. And let me tell you today, the Lord is saying here that if you hear that in any of the towns the Lord is giving to you, right? To live in, enjoy prosperity and everything, right? That some men, evil men have arisen, have entered there, all of a sudden arisen, right? And they have raised forth a golden calf. They have built it so well with gold. They have shined, shown it. It is shining and glittering. And now, and, 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 and I, I demonstrated to you people how idol was for behave. Eh? Yes. After they have built the calf, they, they put it down. And then they, they, they kneel down. And, and then they start. Then they, they call others, come let's worship. And he says, if you will hear that that has happened, do three things. You must go there and inquire very well. Mm -hmm. Don't want contamination at all from those people. Mm -hmm. Cut down with the sword, cutting the neck, the head, cut, chop them down, even livestock. Don't leave any. And gather the flesh and put it as a heap in the city square. And vandalize their plunder, get the homes, vandalize things, put in the square. Begin to set the buildings on fire, set the square on fire as one burnt offering whole unto the Lord. Does somebody understand the gravity of idol worship? Oh, yes. No, 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 please, you have to talk to me today. Yes. To tell me you understand. Yes. If you do, tell me you do. Yes. I've understood enough. That idol worship. <coughs> Idol worship is grievous, is grave unto the Lord. Why? Because he's competing with another. You are, he knows how your heart normally worships, your heart normally worships, worships, devotion, worship, and then he cannot imagine, Pastor Jan, can you focus on me? He cannot, don't look at the guests, focus on me. He worship, 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 devoted. He knows your heart devoted. He cannot imagine that you have turned it elsewhere. You are giving the same heart. Never. Let me begin with a simple one. 
Do you know times why husbands take a gun and want to look for where the wife has gone to? And reach there and gun down. You understand? And finish people there. And you see it in the news, right? Yes. And he gunned down everybody and said, let everybody lose now. Mm. And he walks to the police station and said, I've done it. Yes. You see that? That is just human being, by the way. That's a little prototype. That's just the human being. That's so little of the jealousy of the Lord. You understand? Yes. That's like a drop in the ocean compared to the jealousy of the Jehovah. <laughs> and he says, cut down, don't leave anything. Let none of the property also be found in your hands. Meaning, these people are contagious. What they have started here is contagious. Mm -hmm. Now do you understand where the church fell from? Yes. The church molded for herself a golden calf. And she went on her knees and worshipped. Until 